happy Memorial Day weekend. It is finally the official start to summer. Here in the north, in Ohio, the pools are open. The water will be cold, but the pools are open. It is the official kickoff to summer. This weekend, you probably have some house projects on your list. And if you haven't realized, this is something I realized as a homeowner after a couple of summers. The red, white, and blue holidays are the best time to get paint. So if there's anything that you need to paint or any home improvements that you need, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, head on over to those stores. You'll get a great deal on paint or anything household related. So if you have a big household project, now's the weekend to go shopping. Why, you might ask, am I carrying around file folders? I thought we didn't even do file folders. Well, I'm taking you back in time, 12 years ago to be exact, to the summer of 2012. In the summer of 2012, I had spent the spring cleaning out the kids' bedrooms and the, the livable areas of our house. It would be the fall when I really took advantage of getting organized in the storage areas and all of that. But in the summer, in the summer, my kids were off of school, which meant, which meant that I was the camp counselor because we couldn't afford a camp counselor. So my kids were around all the time. So we joined the neighborhood pool, which we went to almost every day. I am a busybody. And while I like to get a tan, I also like to be productive. And we would spend a couple of hours at the pool every day. And so I brought my filing cabinet with me. You may think it's odd. I got a friend to do the same thing. <laughs> she and I would both bring about this much paper every single time. We'd sit at a table, we'd get our Cokes at the time, we'd get like a fountain Coke with the, the ice in it. And we would sit there and we would chit chat and we would just sort our papers. Now it may seem unconventional, but hey, how else is a mom supposed to get stuff done? And we are kicking off the summer of paper because that's when I got a handle on my paper and the days are long and I would stand at the kitchen counter and sort paper. It's usually when I would organize paper for clients and give me all the paper and I sort it out back on the deck. I'd sort it like everywhere. It's very portable. Paper is really portable. You can't organize your kitchen at the pool, but you can organize your paper at the pool. And let me tell you, you'll have a friend that'll do it with you. We just threw away all the stuff we didn't need at the pool, took home what we did, and we brought a whole new stack the next day. So I'm gonna set down my stack of paper. Now, 12 years later, you could do that with a certified organizer, or you can come here to Cincinnati. The end of, the end of June and the middle of September are our last two paper organizing retreats before Organize 365 finds a new headquarters home. We need to move because we, our lease is up and we have no idea where we're going. So we're doing a paper organizing retreat towards the end of June, and we're doing one in the middle of September. So we'd love to have you join us. If you choose to come, bring a lot of paper. And by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. Somebody brought an RV full of paper once. I'm saying, bring it. It's all day on Saturday. We shred stuff on site. Professional organizers are here to help you know what you could shred and what you need to keep, and then help you start to get it into bags so you can move it into binders. Now there's a lot of things you do with your paper. Everybody has a file cabinet full of paper, 85% of which we don't use. Where you wanna start with organizing your paper is your Sunday basket. This is gonna be your mail that's coming in, your actionable to-dos, everything on the kitchen counter. The summer is a great time to really get a handle on, get all of your mental piles out of your head into the Sunday basket so that you can really get a handle on where are you in your household projects before the new school year starts. Even if you don't have kids, let me just tell you, Fall is the productive time of year in America. We have the 10 most productive weeks start at Labor Day and they go all the way until the middle of November. The more prepared you are in the summer, the more productive you are in the fall. So it's a great time to start any of these paper projects. Clean out your file cabinet, make binders, come to our paper organizing retreat, do your Sunday basket. It doesn't matter, just pick your paper project. And the easiest one to pick is to just get the paper solution book and read it and or join us for our book club. So it's a book club, just like a regular book club. You read the book, you get the book, you read the book, you get it from the library if you want. And then you join the book club, it's $12, it's not a lot of money. And you submit your question in advance because we have hundreds of people in the book club, so it's hard to have people raise their hand. But you submit any question you wanna ask about paper organizing in advance. I read all the questions in advance. And then for the book club, I rapid fire aim, answer all of the questions that you have asked about the paper solution. So that's what we're focusing on here in Organize 365 in the first half of the summer is all about organizing your paper. When we get to June, we're gonna be talking about getting ready to go back to school, 
We all need to get ready for fall. Yes, it's called school. No, we're not all in school, but everyone needs to do the things that you did as a child to go back to school. Get a haircut, get new underwear, all those things. We'll be talking about that in July, but in June, we're gonna focus on paper. And we have a surprise. So our surprise is, we, being the Organized 365 team, has spent five months, five months, taking the inserts for these binders and making them completely editable. So we used to have a, a digital version you could download of the insert and you could print it out again and you could fill in, but, but our boxes weren't big enough to really type in a lot of notes. Well, now they've been fully redesigned and they are 100% editable, so you can choose. Some people really like to get the actual binder with all the inserts, with the slash pockets. They, like me, want to carry around their binder and hug it and take it wherever it needs to go. Some of you are like, I want to get rid of the paper to get rid of the paper. Like, I just want a digital solution. You could buy the binder printable, you could buy the binder digital, or you could buy the paper solution and you could get both. You can get all of the physical and all of the digital together and you actually get a deal. Um, and then there's access on the app to get you more information to that. So that is your paper solution. One more final thing. So we've got, if you're doing household projects, definitely go to the home improvement store because this is gonna be a great weekend to do that. If you're doing paper organizing this summer, this may be weird, but I've done it. And I'm telling you, it's efficient and it works. We all have to figure out how to get our work done. So just bring it with you, bring it to Cincinnati, come to a paper organizer retreat, take it with your friend to the pool. Like, it'll be great. Kids come out for recess, get an ice cream with them, keep working on your paper. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that we have gotten approval from Ashland University to have a teaching course. So yes, for teachers, those of you that want to do the teacher work box or, um, and you want to come to the club so you'll get the teacher workbox club you'll get the teacher workbox camp but also if you go to ashland university and get your teacher workbox there through the course you'll get three graduate credit hours and it gets better than this we have figured out we being anna has figured out she started combing through all of the state of ohio teacher contracts many of you in your teacher contract are able to be reimbursed partially or in full for college credits, professional development, and the things that you do. So like close to me, Mason and Indian Hill will both pay 100% of that Ashland University fee. So Ashland University is $900 to take the course that includes the teacher work box and three graduate credit hours. I believe what we read in the Indian Hill um, contract is that you could take four college credit hours completely reimbursed. If you're in Mason, they will reimburse up to $1,000. So either way, if you're a teacher in either of those school districts, this can be your professional development. Use this to renew your certification and your school district will pay for it. Here's what I wanna say. The energy of this week, the energy of this week is the beginning of summer. It's the beginning. Summer is a season that you could just chill and relax and just you know, let the summer take you where you want it to go. If you're following Organized 365, you're probably like me. You are where the flow comes from. You're not so much go with the flow, if you know what I mean. That's at least me. So if you are like that, like you're where the flow comes from, what kind of flow are you going to make this summer? Like now is the time to decide. You've got this, you know, some of you have 10 weeks, 12 weeks, a couple of months, whatever you have for the summer. What do you want to say at the end of August or the end of July or whenever your summer ends, I checked this big meaty project off of my list. That's what we're talking about in the podcast tomorrow. We're talking about creating a big meaty project. Going through your whole file cabinet, that's a meaty project. Starting and getting your Sunday basket going to where it's a habit by the end of the summer, big meaty project. Getting even one binder done by the end of the summer, big meaty project. Maybe you have an actual like painting project you need to do in your house, that's another meaty project. If you're a teacher, this is your opportunity to get your household and your teaching organized. As you know, once that school year starts, you're just running the marathon until you get back to this day again. So choose, choose only one thing and then go all in.